Good evening everyone. I'm at a fourth game of the day I'm here at the end of July in the first weekend of league fixtures and I'm at the United Counties League um, at Sleaford Town. Uh, my first visit here and we've been greeted by a torrential downpour having just arrived here. Um, but anyway, so there we are at the near end. Um, looking ahead of me, you can see the coach, which I just got off. That's where we came in. Um, so let's have a little walk around the ground. Uh, having just come from the bazaar last game with a torrential 10 minute downpour with no cover, everyone run, running into the trees. Well, there's two penalties for the same time, same team in two minutes. Goalkeeper was sent off. Um, a guy had a drum taken off of him and a lady had a fit on the floor all in ten minutes. One of the most strange games I've ever been. So here we are and having had just fields for the last three games, the first three games today, we are now at a proper football ground. Um, maybe not the most interesting I've ever seen. Reasonably open. Blue skies over there. Please come over here. Um, and a bit of cover there, which is going to have about 200 people in it if this rain continues. We've got a little seated area here on the halfway line. Again, very routine. <laughs> Everyone huddled at the back of it uh, because the rain's going to be coming straight at them. Uh, sitting in there, so we will walk past there. It's an endurance test doing four days, four games in a day. I don't know if you've ever done it. You're well up for the first one. Um, the second one's a bit of a novelty. You start the third one and think, God, I'm only halfway through. And the fourth one needs to be good. Um, I've had a huge variety today, to be fair. We've had goals galore. 5-3 in the last game. Um, so let's hope that this is, this is good. So that's looking at the clubhouse over there and very angry skies above it. Back from where we just came, looks like a committee room to the right of the little stands at the far end. Absolutely nothing here at this far end. So it's got a, a rickety-ish fence that surrounds the whole ground. A little bit of Heath Robinson with panels like that um, for obviously damaged past you just feel that this far end needs something behind the goal it's just an empty grassy space and it just needs something maybe another little covered area like you got at the far end just something to set it off a bit it's just bare and here if you know what I mean so carrying on walking around we have some old practice goals, or not old, but we have some practice goals ahead of us there. And a really quite weird contraption. Let's stop and have a look at the dugouts there. Had a wide variety of dugouts today, this weekend in fact. These are a nice little addition to the collection. So this is the clubhouse here with some kind of weird contraption there. The hose, the obligatory wheelbarrow is there. This will be where the changing rooms are. I guess where that gentleman is, is where all the equipment like the rollers will be. Where the queue is, is sausage surprise tonight, apparently. Oh, well. and that's looking back at the stand with some fairly unattractive works of some kind, building, factory behind it. Not the greatest backdrop I've ever seen. And here's the dugout in a sort of army green. So on through. Team sheets there. 
toilets, clubhouse, and veneer. Dug out. Be cute at the snack bar. As we keep walking back to, that's where the entrance is. Over there. And we'll have one last little look round. In fact, there's a much better view of the factory that I was talking about over there. The stand with the dirty black cloud above it. That's the far end where we've just been. And the near end. Um, that's a like, committee room ahead of us there. But don't take my word for it. If you're in the area, why not come to Sleaford Town? And I'd love to know what you thought about it so please send me a tweet at yt40 or well, if you do a video link me into it i'd love to watch it and if you're not able to come here and you go to another non-league ground then i'd love to hear about your visit there too and link me again into any videos that you do um, thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please click on like and um, if you haven't then click on dislike that's absolutely no problem at all and it would be great if you could subscribe so click on the subscribe button and all future videos i do will automatically go to your youtube feed and once you've clicked on the subscribe button click on the little bell amazing things happen if you click on the little bell just after you've subscribed you'll wake up in the morning and find a factory in your back garden anyway thanks for watching and speak to you soon